png <coughs> okay so example if i want to connect this router if i want to connect any router inside the evng to the internet or to my physical computer because this application this application install in my physical computer this is my physical computer and this one this router is virtual which is present inside the evng so if i want to connect this router to my physical computer or to the internet then what i need to do i need to connect this router with the cloud how you will take cloud you will right click in the network click and here if you see bridge instead of bridge you will take this management or cloud zero like this you will select and this icon you can select anything this is just icon to indicate but this is important management or cloud zero and click save so you will have like this okay and let me delete what i have before so after that you will put like this and this cable you will go here and connect here okay so this is the cloud which cloud if you want to check you can click edit and you can see this is a management cloud zero okay and here this is the router i connected so this router interface f0 by 0 after that i will power on the router i will take the cli of the router that is console of the router this router will boot up it will take some time meanwhile what you need to do you need to assign the ip address here you need to assign the ip address here this whatever ip you are going to assign here that ip should be same subnet what we have here this is our vm nat vm nat 8 because i am using the cloud zero so that is a vm nat 8 so what subnet ip we have here in this side same subnet ip we should configure here so if you are feeling feeling difficulty to figure out what is there here then what we can do we have one option just go under this interface and write here no shut ip dscp ip address dscp so you will get because here you have the dscp so you will get the ip automatically from the same range okay you will get the ip from the same range we can do this way and another thing here vm nat 8 is nothing but whatever evng ip you have here same subnet till here will be same so here you can assign example if you want to assign you can write 192 168 45 dot i can give 100 or anything any number here here like you will have 192 dot 168 dot 45 dot you will have two here so un instead of one and two other numbers you can configure here if you want to configure manually or simple go inside this and write no shut ip address dscp so automatically you will get the ip from this one and automatically they will create the default route towards here that's all so anyway we can do that one so after that our device will connect to the internet or connect to the physical pc physical pc so now i will write no okay after that what i will do here i will go here inside this router i can change the name of the router i will write host name is r1 and here what i can say here if you see before i configure the dscp to this interface that's why we are getting i think the ip so how you will configure you will go interface f0 by 0 then you will write okay here see already i enable the dscp that's why we get the ip also but let me show you how we can enable we need to go under that interface what interface is connected then after that you will write ip address okay add dscp enter and write no shut because when you connect the new router because i use the old router which is connected before that's why already i get the ip here but you need to put interface which interface is connected to the cloud see i get the ip here this ip i get from the dscp so same subnet ip i get here if you see so this is the ip i get i can paste here and here i can increase the size and make the bold here so this is the ip automatically we get to this router and also if you want to check inside this router you will have the default route also you can write here show ip interface brief you can see this ip you get from dscp and if you write show ip route you get the default route here okay ad value is 254 high ad value so last this route will prefer next hop will be this one 
so it is connected here it is connected to our physical device here so if you see here this application is listening from 192 168 45.1 so 45.1 is the our server ip we can say whenever we are configuring inside the router we will put 192 168 45.1 this server syslog server ip we can say 45.1 so now I can do one more thing also here <clears throat> in this router we can do the configuration I can write enable enable password I can give ABC then I can do the telnet configuration LAN BTY 0 to 4 password ABC login okay I enable the telnet configuration here so now telnet is enabled so what i can do i can go to my computer and from here i can take the putty and i can do the telnet select here this is already telnet and write the ip what ip we get here if you remember this is ip we get so copy select this like this and put here and click open so see here you we are able to access the telnet this device this device is in the EVNG and I am doing the telnet from my physical PC. So password ABC, enable password is ABC, I am able to access show IP interface brief. See here I am able to see the interface, all the detail here. Let me make this screen big and here you observe here we are not getting any logs here. If you see or I will go here I will create interface loopback 0. I created one loopback okay when we create the loopback if i did not assign ip or if i assign ip you will get one log message that this loopback is up okay but here you cannot see even if i write here shut no message if i write no shut no message log messages will be generating but that is generating here you can see here when i created the here this is a log messages this is generating here when you are connected the device with the console you can see the log messages whatever log messages are generating here but if you are connecting to the device remotely with the telnet or ssh you cannot see you cannot see the log messages because sometime you need that log message to do the troubleshooting for troubleshooting purpose we need to see what logs are generating this is a log like here when we created the interface they are saying here interface this one change from dawn and when i write here shut or no shut it is changing to up these are the log messages we are calling this is the system generated messages sometime for doing the troubleshooting we need to have this log messages and ignore this one when we connect to cloud we are getting this one so we can ignore this the other messages here you can see this is the other messages we are getting here so what we need to do here means what we need to do here if you are unable to access that one means if you are unable to see the log messages from the telnet or ssh because you cannot see the log messages from telnet and ssh okay you cannot see so what i am saying whenever you have the a console you will see the log messages but if you are doing the telnet or ssh you will not do the log messages so for that purpose you need to write terminal monitor when you write terminal monitor after that if you do anything you will see the log messages like here you will write shut and you will write here no shut see now you can see the log messages this one we are calling as a log messages this interface go down this interface come up before you are unable to see this log messages why because when we are doing the when we, when we are accessing the device remotely by a telnet or ssh it will not show the log messages so you need to go here in the privilege mode and you need to type this terminal monitor monitor then only you can see this log messages <coughs>